Happy New Year! We're back on the bank! Um, it's Monday, 2nd of January. Finally got on the bank. I tried to get here last week, but I had that, that lurgy that was hanging around. Oh, it done me in. So, better late than never, so to say. So, all the kit here. Got to get this all sorted out. Um, so, thank you to everyone. Over the last few weeks since the last blog, brilliant comments, beautiful comments. Thank you so kindly. Um, I was absolutely shocked at the um, response that, that uh, last vlog had. Um, so I can't thank you enough for all the subscribers and nice comments. Fully, fully appreciated. And I'll explain a little bit further what I'm going to do with this vlog. Got some new things to try, got some new toys. Um, so yeah, let me get this kit sorted out. Let me get set up, let me get a brew. And I'll catch you again in a bit. Well, set up finally, rods are in, three rods, three of day, two of a night, um, not going mad from the off, just uh, put three out on solid bags, just so I can get everything in order and get fish in, um, see if I can nick one, quick one straight away, eh? see what happens, but it's an absolute beautiful day, it's one o'clock, got to hear about Quarter past 11, so it took me an hour, just over an hour and a half to get um, everything primed and the bivvies up. Bivvies up, um, rods are in, like I say. So, get the rest of the kit inside the bivvy sorted out. Have a rest, bloody hell, knackered. I was on nights last night, so move that. Yeah, I was on nights last night, finished at 6 this morning, a two hours kip, up and out, get on here, get some fishing done, like I say on the intro, it's been a long time coming, I think it was three weeks since the last one, and I was intending to get out, um, in between Christmas and New Year, and I was intending to get out on New Year's Eve, however, I had to work last night, which was... New Year's Day, so I couldn't come, so I'm, I'm here today. So yeah, we're fishing, finally. I'm in the right hand um, corner of the lake, um, as opposed to where I was further up there last last session. Quite have a bit of a change, come down here, um, and see how we get on. Spin you around. Okay, we've got the rods in. Right hand road is nine wraps to the right hand side there, just off by them trees. Middle road, usually a spot over there, Norfolk Reeds or Oblivion. You've heard me talk about that one before. And the left hand road is 17 and 3 quarter wraps out into open water there into deepest part of the bowl, which is bowl shaped is this water it's all quite uniform in the, in the middle um, 12, 13 foot so yeah, open water so let's see how we get on fingers crossed we can get one and get two, I'm here for 48 hours there's only me on the old place so peace, tranquility and hopefully some 2023 carp Happy days! So, good afternoon. Um, little update. 
nothing has occurred yet. I've had a couple of liners, but um, no, no to any avail. Get on for about half past two. I've um, put two spawns over each rod. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going mental with it. Like I say, I put them, I put them out in bags, and I put two spawns over each one, just to try and activate a bite or encourage a bite. At the minute, it's still a lovely day. It's a bit fresh, it's a bit nippy. Um, it's about eight degrees, and we've got a southwesterly, so it's good wind. But like I say, it's clear skies. Still a bit nippy. That's not a, um, it's not a summer sun. That it's a winter sun. So yeah. Oh. Seen the bobbin switch a bit there. So that's the ducks. I think it's the coots. Over on the Norfolk Reeds spot there. I think they keep going down on it. So I'll just keep me on that. But um. Yeah, so nothing's occurred as yet. Like I say, I've not gone mad. I'm a bit tired from last night from work, so just steady away. Um, we'll see how we get on. I've, I've got the boat with me, in fact. Um, so later on, on the cast before getting down, made down for bed, I'll put the boat out on all three of them drop a bit of bait on them and that'll be it then I'll leave them for the night until I get a run or until the morning until I get a run um, so I know they're all precision baited and dropped so I know they're on the spots then it's just it's, it's, it's sitting hope isn't it then so like I say it is still cold that water's cold really cold so we all know we don't move too much so we'll see how we get on so yeah, I'm happy to be out, um, chilled out, relaxed, no stress after Christmas and lurgies and work and whatever else has been going on. It's nice to be chilled, sat in the BV, got a nice beer here, going steady, I'm not going mad today with the beer because I'll be knackered after, literally knackered, I've only, like I say, I've only had two hours sleep, so yeah, let's see how we get on. I've bought a drone so I'll be adding some footage of that into this vlog um, I'm not 100% with it yet although I've been practicing with it out on the fields by mine so not too bad with it so we'll see how we get on I'll try and get some lovely shots for you some video footage it all adds to the vlog doesn't it so yeah we'll see how we get on let's keep our fingers crossed and I'll go through all the baits, rigs, whatever else the session goes on, like I say, it's a bit of a chill out today because I'm knackered. So I'll catch you all in a bit. And if there's any fish, obviously they'll be on the vlog. Do some tea later, steak and potatoes, peppercorn sauce, happy days. Look after the inner man, eh? See you in a bit. Well, good afternoon. Sun's gone down, definitely got cold. Um, just check the weather. I think we're going to get some frost tonight. I think it's going down to minus one. So it could be frosty night. Like I said before, clear skies. Big temperature crash. Doesn't bode well for any decent fishing, I don't think. But hey, we're here, aren't we? We'll have to tell you what comes. Rods are out still. I just put them again out again with the bait boat. Like I said, I don't know 
that right hand rod I'll probably bring it in I haven't put any bait on that I just used to put the bag on it and then two spawns earlier um, but that right hand one over on this near margin I think I'll bring that one in just in case you get action through the night and it's not all hectic and lines everywhere just a bit more ease of use really getting the fish in in the dark so yes yeah, definitely cold um, getting on for about four o'clock so gonna get some tea in a bit get bedded down for night for the night and hopefully be up with some fish or fish before we go to sleep who knows fishing in it we're here we're on the bank we're happy fish are just a bonus let's see what happens so tonight's bivy grub lovely steak some potatoes these are the unbagging potatoes. I'm going to tip over it some peppercorn sauce. Sorry about the lighting. It's nearly dark outside, so I've got the baby lights on. So, yeah, can't wait to tuck into this. Proper bit of bivy grub. Winter warmer, especially on cold nights. Let's get this going. Let's tuck into it. tip warm your peppercorn sauce through sit it in the kettle of water hot water obviously warm it through tip it over your steak in the end beautiful that's just me a little um, pre-mix salt and pepper and we're having little jars. Nice and handy. Already mixed together, so you only need one little pot. It's an oregano pot, but it's salt and pepper. Talk about adapting. Bugs in the pan, steak in the pan, peppercorn sauce, keep it warm. Happy days, look at that. So please forgive me, I'm chewing away on the steak. But look at that, proper big bivy grub that. Steak, potatoes, peppercorn sauce, steamy nuts, proper winter fuel. Happy days. Get this tucked into me. Get me warm, some proper fuel in the system. And we're set for the night. But yeah. Bivy grub, proper grub. I don't know how much you can see here, but we've got a fish on. There we go. It's dark, it's about nine o'clock. We've got a fish on, so I'm going to play this fish safely. Try and get it in the net, get one on the bank so it's not a blank. Happy days! And there we have one in the net. Happy days! Tell you what, it's only about nine o'clock, but everything's already starting to frost up, so it's going to be a cold night. Wasn't holding out much hope, to be honest. But we've got one in. Let me deal with this. See if I can get a pick in my hands. But if not, I'm just going to get it back and get back in the bivy. So this fish, Meadow, 
It's just gone 23.8 in the sling. I'm going to turn it round, get a better hold. So I'm going to weigh the sling. In a minute, it's a brand new sling, so I don't know what it weighs. But let's see if we can get this fish out. Oh, it's freezing in the hands. Absolutely freezing. I'll tell you what, it's got some gut on it. Look at that. Let me get up close. There we go. Beautiful. Screamed off that far. Norfolk Reeds spot. So yeah, 23.8 in the sling. I'll weigh the sling now. I'm not going to mess about with this. It's freezing. I'm going to get it back in. Release it. So we get a pick on the other side. There we go. Now it's going to flip. Right, I'm going to get it back. I'll weigh the sling for you. So I've just put that rod back out. I don't know what's going on there like. But that wasn't the rod I had the fish on. It was a right hand rod. And as you can see I've took one rod out now, the middle rod. So I've put the right hand rod back over on the Norfolk Reeds. And the left hand rod out in open water. Both at 17 and 3 quarter wraps. So, yeah, made up to have that. £20 on the nose. Happy days. Cold night. Winter fishing. Bonus, in it. So, we can get another. Like right, I say, me for 48. That could change. Depends if it gets bad. If it stays all right, don't mind the cold. So we'll just crack on, see how we get on. Catch you in a bit. Well, that was bad, wasn't it? Anyway, don't know why I said it was nine o'clock. It was seven o'clock. But I was late in the bed watching YouTube, and I must have nodded off. Um. And I woke up, and it was literally two minutes after I woke up, I had that run. I had a quick look at my phone, I was 1900, so I'm in my head because I was still half asleep. I'm thinking it's nine o'clock. That's what happens when you have two hours sleep after the night shift. But anyway, we've got a fish. We're not blanking, made up, yeah. Happy days, so. They're both back out, I've just done a little update on them now, back out. Um, I'm going to have a celebratory drink, I think. Have a Magnus to celebrate. Um, winter fish, look, you can see it, freezing. Like I say, it's only, it was only 7 o'clock when they had that. The rods were frosting up, the bivvies were frosting up, the sling was frosting up, so don't bode well for um, a mild night does it it's going to be um, a chilly one I think but um, there's a little bit of cloud cover at the minute so I hope it stays just to um, kick, kill that frost anyway cheers yeah happy days made up winter fish so um, where was we up to yeah, I'll show you all the rig, the bait and everything in the morning, not doing it now. Too dark, got two bivvy lights going just to get some light so I can do this blog entry. But yeah, happy days, see what, see what occurs through the night. See if we can get another, see if we can get any more. Um, see what tomorrow brings. Um, yeah, buzzing, made up. Winter fish, run the bank. What do you want, eh? Bank time is precious time. Fish are always a bonus. Catch you in a bit. Alien in 
invasion. So what about? Strange night. It's about uh, it's just gone eight o'clock now. I had a, good, a very good sleep, which was more than needed, absolutely more than needed after only having two hours um, yesterday. Well, I am, um, yeah, I have not had any more fish. I was disturbed at 12 last night by some occurrence, but there was nothing significant. Um, and I said on that entry last night after I had that fish, from 7 to like 12 o'clock, everything was frozen, ice, icing up. Um, bitterly cold, proper clear skies at 12 o'clock when I went out to that um, occurrence that I had. Then I got back in bed, fell back asleep again. Woke up about half past two, I think it was. Totally different totally different night wind rain totally different weather from absolutely crazy and to be honest i prefer it to be like this it's a westerly at the minute it's changed right round so it's blowing into that um norfolk reeds area which is a bonus to be fair um yeah i'd prefer it to stay like this rather than clear and cold i think we've got a much better chance like this with a bit of a, a bit of a breeze on it and it's, it's cloudy it's over cloud, overcast it's, it's actually brilliant conditions to be fair so yeah pressure's on um feel late to myself perfect conditions although it's, don't get me wrong it's still winter we all know that but yeah happy days just got a coffee yeah like i said needed that sleep Whoa, so we're knackered but yeah, we've had one. Job done, isn't it? So I'm going to get some brekkie on in a minute. I'm absolutely starving. Finish this coffee, have a grab some brekkie. Redo all three rods. I've already got two rods out in a minute. I took one out last night after I said. I put three, three rods back out, getting them all redone. And get set for the day and see if we can nick another. Who knows, eh? Like I say, we're here till tomorrow. If it stays like this, I'm happy. I'll stay, I'll stay till tomorrow. So get cracking on so I'm gonna have some brekkie now and I'll catch you all in a bit see if we can get another so this morning's brekkie some crumpets done in the flip griddle pan no it's not a ridge monkey um, it's just a normal one but um yeah some crumpets warm me through get some fuel in the system I've got some bacon if I need any later and I've got um, chicken curry for tea, all made, none out of your packets. And let's get this down me when it's cooked. There's my leisure battery with all the connections on charging everything up self-contained power charge my bait boat batteries drone batteries phone vape I can charge whatever I need so always self-contained I'm just charging up one of the drone batteries now I'm gonna have a fly by with that get some shots yeah, self-contained. Happy days.
So just a bit of the terminal tackle I've been using over the last few years. His bag and tackle and dips. Terminal gear, high quality. It's definitely served me well when I've used them. Um, that last fish, well that fish I had is the only one actually. That fish I had last night was on the size 6 curve. So yeah, and a little bit of um, kicker shrink tube I had on it. I discarded the, the rig actually, I put it in the bin bag because it was done. But um, I'll make some more rigs up in a bit and um, I'll show you the, um, the end product. But it was all using these products from Bag and Tackle and Dips. So yeah, nice and cheap, pure quality. If you're looking for some terminals, goos, glugs, whatever they do. Get on to bag and tip BTD UK it is or BTD.co.uk one or the other. I'll put the link in the description anyway. So yeah, get on them. So we're still struggling. Had that one last night. Worked hard this morning. It's getting up for about three o'clock now. It's over. Yeah, it's getting up for about three o'clock. Um, struggling. Rods are out, obviously. Still two rods. Usual spots. That wind's starting to pick up. I get some wind noise on this, sorry if we do. Change that again. There we go. Yeah, that wind's picking up. Stop raining. But I think it's forecast some more rain, but I'm not bothered about that. As long as it doesn't frost and freeze, I'm happy with that. But yeah, worked hard, kept the baits topped up, changed rigs, changed bait colours, changed a few things around. But maybe again. Maybe like last night, get one as it's dark or late on, middle of the night, who knows. Keep plugging away, just made some tea ready for later. Maybe Boona, get in. Curries, winter nights, love curries anyway, so homemade, none of that tinned rubbish. So yeah, tea for tonight. Uh, Bivy Boona, some flatbreads, happy days, keep me warm. Keep me fueled up. So yeah, turn it round. Yeah, as you can see, the wind's still blowing over there. It's still, still a westerly. Yeah, we're fishless. It's amazing. Them coots can find the bait. Where's the fish? Why can't they find it? <laughs> They'll find it sooner or later. But yeah, three o'clock-ish. Keep plugging away, see what unfolds, whatever turns up. I'll be on the camera. And like I say, I'm happy if it stays like this all night. Makes it a little bit more enjoyable. Is that the coots? Can't see any coots over there. So just keep my eye on that. So yeah, it looks, makes it a bit more enjoyable when it's like this. Rather than freezing, you don't want to do nothing. Don't mind working hard in this kind of condition. So keep plugging away, see what occurs. Catch you in a bit. So it's getting on for about half three. Um, as you can see, I've got the door. Three quarters zipped up, letterbox style. But I tell you what, this Fox Frontier XT is a great piece of kit. However, I did forget the vapor shield that goes on the top. And that's the joys of working through the night and having two hours sleep and forgetting things. But I can live. I'll live without it. But I tell you what, as soon as I zip that up, it's absolutely pitch black in here. Now, if you want to sleep, it's perfect. 
because it's absolutely pitch black and I've got to have three lights on in here to see what I'm doing absolutely immense piece of kit summer months different all these full surround windows will be open the door will be open there's loads of light coming through but in the winter months when it's dark at half four as soon as you zip that door up because it's cold absolutely black black it just makes you want to get in the bag and go to sleep but um yeah uh, 20,000 hydrostatic um, material, thick as anything. It's absolutely a blue piece of kit. Lovely warm in here overnight, especially with that little kettle warmer going, like I, I put on the previous vlog. But yeah, great piece of kit. And I've just made the tea ready for later. Always best to cook in the day. Warm it up later on, see what you're doing. I'm going to redo the two rods. Still on two rods, I'm not messing about with three rods through the night. And having bait splattered everywhere around three three rods. Just gonna have the two rods, one up over on the far side, that's going to go out with a boat in a bit. Um and the one in the open water, that'll be going out on a solid bag. I was initially all on solid bags on all rods, but it's been raining today. And it's not ideal, as you know, with PVA solid bags, it's not ideal in the rain. So one's out on the boat, it'll be going out on the boat with a nice, good bit of feed to get another going. And maybe we'll get one like we did last night off that far peg around seven or in dark, whenever. And the one will be going out on the solid bag. I'll put a few spawns over it in the middle and all just to keep it freshened up. But yeah, that's where we're up to. It's getting on for, like I say, about half three, 20 to four. Give it an hour, it'll be pitch black. So I need to get um, a shifty on, get all these, get these two rods primed up, get settled in for the night, grab me tea, footy's on later, so I'll be watching football in the bivvy, chilled out, I've got a nice few beers here, and I'll be bivvy booner, and have a beer, and watch a footy. We'll see how we get on. Happy days, catch you in a bit. So it's going to be nice chicken curry tonight, proper one, there's a little tub of mixed spices I made at home, I have all my powders, I'm going to have some flatbreads, nice chicken curry, if it was at home it'd have spinach, coriander and everything in it but this is a quick one on the bank, so let's get this Go in before it gets dark and I can warm it up later when I need it. Yeah, let's see how it turns out. So I'm just frying off my onions. Get them nice brown before they have the spices that's been a little spice mix I made at home pre-mixed it garam masala madras curry powder coriander seeds coriander powder nigella seeds ginger turmeric all the usual things you put in a normal Indian curry so I'm going to toast these off in a minute with the onions before I put the chicken in that's the right way to do it let's see how it goes the onions are nicely browning off now get the powder in in a second get that toasted off before I put the chicken in so I'm just going to add a bit of this powder, I don't want to add it all at once because it might be too overpowering for the amount of chicken that I've got but I do like the spices and whatever else so that's got in now to the onions and to toast this off that's the powders in now with the onions just cooking off that way, do it this way, it releases all the flavours then we'll get the chicken in with it and the tomatoes and crack on from there. There we are now look, all the spices have fried out, cooked out, released all the little oils, 
looks good enough to eat as it is so I'm going to get the chicken in now and fry that off before I add the tomatoes chicken in there and fry this stuff now I can add a little bit more spice when I've tasted it in a bit although it's not ideal but just want to get it right there we go mix the chicken in with the spices that's just frying off now I'm cooking the chicken out look at that it's good enough to eat isn't it but that's not the finished article see how it ends up in a bit Get the tomatoes in. I'm not going to add them all in at once. Like I say, I'm just going to add them in a bit of a time. Get the consistency and the texture that I want. You do how you want. So I've added about half of a tin of the tomatoes. It's only a small tin. Again, if I was at home, I'd be using fresh tomatoes, not tin tomatoes. But this, ease of use. Quick. Bivy Boona, crack on with it. Look at that now, it's coming together nicely. Beautiful. Add some coriander, some spinach now. I'll just finish it off perfectly. So I'm going to have a taste in a minute, see if I need any more spices. But yeah, look at that. Bivy Boona, happy days. that's just getting to the consistency that I like I like more meat me I do like sauce I don't like too much sauce saucy enough as it is <laughs> but um, yeah it's getting to the consistency I like now it's just cooking through cooking out getting all that sauce and juice emulsified Yeah, all soaking into the chicken. Beautiful. So I just added a bit more powders and added half a teaspoon of sugar. What that does is it tenderizes the meat and it brings out all the flavours. I've added a bit of salt and pepper. And that now is absolutely perfect for me. I'm gonna turn this off, put the plate over top and just let it settle when I want to warm it up later and like I say I'm going to have some flatbreads with it I'm going to toss them off warm them through in the flip griddle look at that absolutely perfect can't wait to tuck it in the line a bit if it can wait that long Bivy Boona Bivy Grub Bankside Grub call it what you want look after the inner man Please excuse the slopping and chewing in the background, but I'm tucking into my bivy curry. Absolutely stunning this is. All it's missing is some garlic, coriander and spinach. Otherwise it would be a mint, mint curry. But hey, we're on the bank. It's quick and easy. Happy days enjoying it properly enjoying it winter feel winter curry winter grub bivy grub job done evening um, where are we at been absolutely lashing down for the last three and a half four hours Wearing a hoolie, lashing down, to be honest, still overcast, should be uh, perfect conditions. I've not, had another, I've not had another fish, I'm shocked, I'm absolutely shocked. And to think last night, it was like minus one, minus two, at seven. And we had that run, and we had that fish. Today, my arms, 
It's about nine degrees. Sorry, just had a little knock there. Yeah, it's about nine degrees. Overcast. Alright, it's a little bit of a breeze now. Stop raining. But it's like you, you think they were the perfect conditions. Don't get me wrong, that water's so cold. But um, I'm, I'm shocked. I've worked hard this afternoon, well, from this morning, this afternoon, getting everything prepped, changing things around. Shocked I haven't had another run. Probably one of them, innit? It's the old scenario get in bed, just get your head down, just nodding off, and off it screams. But I'll be happy if it does that. Get a run at any time of the night, I'll be made up. So, I'm leaving, I'm not going till about um, 2 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, I don't think. So, I've got plenty of time in the morning to, to can get, um, see if I can get another fish. So, it is what it is, isn't it? It's fishing. Just watch football, it's about 20 past 10 now, I think. Um, been laid here chilled, having a few beers, having a munch. Um, I'm chilling out really. Yeah, shocked. So see what unfolds for the night ahead. I'm not going to touch them. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave them be. I know they're on good spots, and I know they've got bait around them. So let's just wait. Let's just hope. And if I get another fish, maybe on the camera. If not, I'll see you in the morning. Catch you later. So we're into a fish, no idea what time it is, it'll be around 12 o'clock I think, just playing this really nice and steady. Oh, it's coming in. Right, let's get it in. I'll get it on the map there. He is, let's see. Right, let's get it in. Here we have fish number two. Another mirror. Two nights, two mirrors. Still a bit lively. Let me get it out. So we're in again. Like I said, when I was playing that. I've no idea what time it is. Definitely after twelve o'clock. This fish is nowhere near as cold as the one last night. It's another better. Not weighed it yet. Look at Beautiful fish. Beautiful scales. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Turn it round so you can have a look at it. It's in the mid doubles. Not gonna wait. Look at that. Another fish for 2023. Beautiful. Right, let's get it back, get that rod back on the spot. So oh, great bit of kit. For night shots is this selfie fish you can add lights to it you can add as many lights to it as you want there you go all comes as a kit that beautiful piece of kit especially for night shots you can adjust the lighting with the dials don't have to mess about 
with fish on map picks anymore get yourself one of these I'll put the link in the description look at that absolutely perfect selfie fish so I don't know how much of this you can see try and get some light um, sorry about the quality here let me see if I move that Ah, oh, that's better. Yeah, I called it, didn't I? As soon as you get your head down, nothing off. Off it screamed, one toner, literally tear, torn off. So um, I didn't have a clue what time it was. Um, I said it was about after 12, I think, because it was about half 11, I think I fell asleep. But um, I dealt with the fish, got the, put it on film, uh, took some shots. Then got it back safely and then looked at me, looked at the time, it was 10 past 12, so it was about 5 to 12, 12 o'clock when I um, had that run. So yeah, happy days, another mirror. Um, two nights, two mirrors. Lovely, absolutely lovely. That was a bit doubles that I didn't weigh it. Um, yeah, it was about 15, 16 pounds, somewhere down there, maybe 17. Um, lovely fish, lovely scale patterns on it. So yeah, made up, winter fishing, two fish, although it's absolutely mild out there, it's, it's a beautiful night, that fish was nowhere near as cold as last night's fish, so it definitely warmed up out there, that, that water's not as cold either, so yeah, happy days, it's about half twelve now I think, so I think I'll make a nice brew, and chill out, um, yeah, is what it is isn't it, made up. See if we can get another, I'll put the rod back on the spot, hit the clip, um, spot on, so that's 70 and 3 quarter wraps, that uh, Norfolk Reed spot again, so that's two off that same spot, nothing out in the middle, yeah, let's make a brew and I'll catch you in a bit if I catch any more, if not I'll see you in the morning. Nice bit of bacon on the go this morning. Last brekkie, leaving in a couple of hours. So I'll get this down me and slow pack away. I'll catch up with you in a bit if anything else is happening. Just redone the rods. Back on the spots, so fingers crossed we can nick another, hopefully in daylight this time. So yeah, let me carry on cooking this, get it down me get fueled up and I'll crack on for the last few hours. Yes, daytime fish. It's a bit breezy so I don't have much wind noises on this. Try and get this fish in. We have common in the net, full house, mirror, two mirrors in the common, happy days, lovely way to end, hopefully we'll get another, but daytime fish, let's get this sorted, let's get some pigs, happy days, fish number three, beautiful common, just weighed it, it's gone 16 pound, two ounce, Here we go, let's get it up. Happy days. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Mint condition. It's 
Superb. Lovely colours. Dark on the top. Lovely. Turn it round. Nice and steady. That completed the fish two minutes in the common. I'm going to get this back and get the rod back out so we get another for the last hour. Happy days! Beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Common. So after I've just had that fish, um, thought I'd talk over the rig. It's been just an all in three fish. Um, Basically, it's bog standard multi rig. Let me see that, the multi rig. Um, that's a uh, bag and tackle and dips size 6 curve with one of the bait screws on. The rig component is. ESP Thompson loaded and I've just stripped a bit back there for that that pivot, that joint uh, it's SSG shot from Dinsmore's and a little bit of putty halfway up just to pin it all down nicely and that's on the inline system like I said I started with the PVA bags solid bags so it's all set up like that so I just kept it as it is and that's just kicker there and tangle sleeve yeah and on the end I had the hinders baits dumbbell wafters are they 15 mil are they yeah I think they were 50, 15 mil I don't know if you can see there I've got the camera just inside the baby door because it's blowing a bit of a hoolie I didn't want any wind noise on it so I'll, I'll take some close-ups anyway so that's the hook bait that's the rig multi-rig bog standard nothing fancy great rig caught the all in three fish hook holds absolutely brilliant it's got a little bit of kicker on there and I'll shrink tube kicker just to give that aggressive hook hold Okay, I'll say I'll just say I'll do um, some close-ups for you. But yeah, I'll get on to the feed bait now that I've been putting in. Um, same as last time, really. Particles and Hinders bait seafood. That was seafood wafter and all that. So uh, I've been putting the seafood feed baits out, 15 mil, and particles basically in the boat that far margin that well that far north at reeds um all the fish have come from there i've had nothing in open water i'll keep topping it up and keep working it but usually you pick them up in the night but i've had nothing so i'll just show you the feed baits and the particles then we're all organized and you know what i've been using and the blog is then complete i think unless i get another fish who knows I'll do an outro when I've done this section and I'm going to get this rod back out so get on to the feed baits so there's the seafood feed baits 15 mil and there's the dumbbell wafter and beetle in I soaked it all in that's been going out in the boat along with particles mixed particles 
secure rubbing properties get them down there get them rubbing and I boosted this up with some um, Angel Delight strawberry and Angel Delight banana I mixed it all in to get stodge so I went all the bait dropping basically all in the same vicinity not floating everywhere so it was stodged up to get it all down there as, as close as I could to this spot look at that beautiful stuff yeah that's the feed baits I've been putting out the hinders seafood boilie and wafters with the beetle in and the mixed particles I made myself sorry if there's any wind noise on this it is a little bit breezy today but that's that happy days that's what's doing the job it's been hard it's been hard conditions but we've plugged away and I've prevailed Well, look at this, bright sunshine. <laughs> Made up actually because I'm trying all the gear out. Hope it doesn't rain for the next hour or so. Get everything packed away, lovely and dry, so I don't have to get it out and get it up. But yeah, I just had that comment. Just put the rod back on the spot. Let's hope we get another before we go. Breezy today. Very breezy. Well, good afternoon, folks. I'm starting to pack away. It's just the rods and the nets out. I'm still under the bivvy, it keeps having showers. If you look around, nice beer. Got all the kits in here. Drying it out. Keep having showers, try to get everything dry as much as I can, then just drop the bivvy last minute when I've got all the other gear in the car. But yeah, this is probably. No, I'm not driving, just in case. Um, this is probably the last blog entry. I'm going to start getting it all sorted, get it packed away before I get off home. Turn you around. So, yeah, being a grueler, it's been enjoyable. It's nice to be out on the bank. Again, like I said, it was three weeks ago since the last vlog. And thanks to everybody once again. I said it at the beginning of this one. All the new subscribers, all the lovely comments. I was absolutely blown away by it and that last vlog took me over the monetization process with YouTube over 4,000 watch hours and over a thousand subscribers so I'm starting to get paid I don't know how much it's going to be it's not going to be millions because it all goes on the amount of vlogs you do and how many watch hours it goes on but what I'm going to do is the first three months of the money that YouTube pay me, I'm going to donate to a charity, um, probably Dementia UK, which I used to support when I ran the business. Because that's what I lost my mum to, terrible, terrible disease. So I'm going to donate look, the first quarter of all the income from YouTube for the monetization of the vlogs and donate to Dementia UK so thanks again for all of you for helping me do that I hope nobody's having to live through that dementia Alzheimer's situation it's a terrible terrible disease poor mum didn't know who he was in the end so I'd just like to put donate that as much as I can to it whatever it is and I'll add to it and all so on a personal note thank you thank you all so once again, thanks again for watching. 
thanks for subscribing i'll be out again in a couple of weeks i don't know where i don't know when um but i do like it on here and like i say i like to like to see the fish developing and grow but i might be on somewhere else who knows so thanks for watching hope your angling goes well take care of everything you're doing stay safe stay positive and keep on fishing bye for now